Hey folks, welcome back. Now in this video I want to take you through the process of setting up the Google search for your website. Now we'll go to, uh, I'm just going to fire up Google as a matter of fact, and we're going to just do a search on Google CSE. Typically you'll come up to this site here, custom search engine for Google. Click on that. If you don't already have a Google account, just create one. E uh, name, email, whatnot. And when you get into the custom search engine page, start with new search engine. Click on this link. For the name of the site, the description, and the sites to search, I just use the same information for all three elements. So we'll just type in uh, our website name. There we go. I'm just going to put for zoo.net three times. Scroll on down. Now you have two options, standard edition and site search. This site search is kind of a newer option here. If you've been working with any Google tools over the past few years, Google has offered a free site search tool for decades. Well years anyways. Now they've also offering this $100 per year for optional ads. In other words, basically they're saying they'll remove any Google AdSense ads from the search results because when you do a Google search, there are often ads in the results page. And that's whether you go to Google or whether you use one of their tools. If you want those ads removed, they're telling you it'll cost you 100 bucks. So maybe that's the decision you'll have to talk over with your client if you're working with clients or, or make a, a business decision if it comes to that. Uh, but typically, the free version just does wonderfully. All right, click on the I read and next. Okay, now here are the steps to follow. First thing we do is click classic and next. We're going to skip all this information here and go right to the look and feel. Click that link. Now we're going to click two page, classic, scroll on down. Now we go to save and get code. Up here in the specify the URL and where you want your web search results to appear, you actually have to type in the name of your website, triple dub dot, in this case, frazoo.net slash the name of the page where the search results will appear. Now we've already included a search results.htm page, so type that in right here, search hyphen results.htm. Okay, you can leave the query where it is, save changes, and all you need to do after that is grab this code right here, copy it, go into your library page, and paste it. Let me show you what that looks like. I'll just use the uh, uh, Expression Web for this example. We'll open up the library folder and the Google Site Search and the Google Site Search page. Make sure it's in code view and right here where it says put the following script, select that all the way down to and including this GSE search box only if that's what you see there. Or basically what you're going to do is make sure that the div Google search and this div tag are left in place. Everything in between it is removed. So we just want the opening div and the closing div and everything in between. We uh, paste that new code in place right there. And that's what it would look like. Save it to update your site.